my name is Wanjari Ndaro. I have been following and taking part in the campaign to get the four sons of Kenya who have been jailed for life in South Sudan for the last one and a half years. Uh, several times we have had meetings with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and they have asked in all of these meetings that the families do not go to the media, neither should they do any campaigns online to see if any action can be taken by the Foreign Affairs Ministry to help get these boys home. And every time during these meetings, we are promised that the sons, this, this um, um, young men who are in South Sudan will be brought home. Every time we go, there is even uh, promises of we, that even include timelines that they'll be home in a week, they'll be home in two weeks for the last one and a half years. Right now they've been jailed for life for a crime that the, the Foreign Affairs Ministry is admitting ha, uh, that there is no evidence to show that they took part in this so-called fraud case that their boss has been implicated in. One of them was released but the four that were left were jailed together collectively with one charge with the people who are supposedly or allegedly um, supposed to have stolen this money. My ask is Amina as a mother, can she take a minute to review this case in her busy schedule of trying to be the head of AU? If she cannot handle four Kenyans who have been wrongfully jailed in South Sudan. How are we expecting her to handle Africa? That is what I am asking myself. And that is what Kenyans should be asking. Let us start by dealing with our issues home first. Let us see how competent the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kenya and in Juba are by bringing these children home first. Let us stop playing politics with Kenyan lives. I stand with the families to free the South Sudan folk.